is up? Jim Alfano here with the Brook Team and EXP Realty. I hope you're having a fantastic week so far. And thank you for checking out this video and looking at my featured listings of the week. We have a um, gorgeous luxury condo in Danbury and then a property in Shelton and one in Fairfield. So I'm going to do three this week. Let's go and take a look. So as always, you know, as I'm scrolling through the data, please feel free to pause and take a read of the entire thing and all the details. I'm not going to read through them all and mention them all. I'm just going to do a quick overview, but I'm going to scroll down so you have that opportunity. So let's do that first here at this luxury condo in Danbury. $948,000, three beds, two and a half baths, uh, just under 3,200 square feet. So it is very large. And interestingly, the condo fee, the HOA fee is not enormous. Uh, we're looking at 487 for the price point of this condo. Uh, that's relatively cheap, you know? You can get a, a, a three four $400,000 condo with similar HOA fees. So this is a good, a good HOA, beautiful unit. Relatively new, this wouldn't be considered new built or new construction, but it's 2014, so it's still relatively new. All right, so let's take a look at the pictures here. Really nice condo. Great on the outside, uh, luxurious fit and finish. Some of the personal things you, you may want to change, but I'm, there's not a lot that I would change in here. I think maybe the chandelier over the dining area, but some folks would like that. You know, it's just not my thing. Uh, this kitchen is my thing, though. I like everything about this kitchen. I like the dining room, too. I like that. Uh, well, that's part of the eating kitchen. That's not the, the formal dining room. has got the more formal lighting in it. I guess I'm not a formal person. This this uh, shower is, is really cool, though. I think it's very intelligent the way they did that. It's got the office set up here, the dual sinks, nice bathroom. <clears throat> interesting spot the way they used this extra space and made a kind of a single person TV setup and then you have the family TV setup down here I want to say it's probably a pellet stove I'm not entirely sure <coughs> I like the whole wet bar vibe going on here it's that's really cool for entertaining beautiful townhome so very clean <laughs> they they may have lived in it for 10 years but um Certainly, uh, it looks like it's brand new condition for the most part. All right, so let's take a look at the next property here. We are in Shelton, Connecticut, 51 Stendhal Drive. I'm going to say Stendhal, not entirely sure as to proper pronunciation. But we have here a raised ranch, and uh, there's a couple of things I like about this raised ranch compared to most. One of them is in the backyard. The three-season room is really cool off the back. Um, <clears throat> I also like the fact that it's got the two car garages, but one is off of the main house. So get a little more space in the lower level. I owned a range a raised ranch that had this no garages on the main structure and then have one garage on the side and then a carport as well. Um, so it's nice to have that little extra room in the basement or lower level. Three beds, two baths, uh, just over 3,200 square feet, uh, a bit over half an acre lot. All right, let's take a look on the inside and out. Nice curb appeal. Like in the entrance uh, staircase there. Now, I think they could have done a little more for depersonalization, in my opinion, for showing this home. But, you know, forgetting that, um, I, I also think I would turn the light on for the photography, but again, forgetting that. <laughs> It's nice. It's got nice flooring. It's in really great condition. I like the I like the setup. I like the, the flow of it. So I think they did a good job there. And this room, uh, you know, I had a three season room. It wasn't nearly as big. This is really nice and big. I love all the windows around. Um, and I see uh, maybe an electric heater there. Yeah, it looks like electric, which is fine. Oh, and they have a split system in this room. Great space. Great extra space off the back of this raised ranch. I'm a fan. Oh, this is interesting. So they have a like a bathroom light there in the corner. That's a little interesting. And this green is a little dark. I actually like the green, but I'm just saying for showings. And even this gray is probably a tad dark. 
But that's just paint, right? And this bathroom, yeah, it could, it could be, uh, maybe the tiles could be updated. But still very, very nice. And here, here's another, um, maybe depersonalize this before listing, but you don't know what what's going on in people's lives when they list property and whatever time constraints they may or may not have and the willingness to change this before showing, you know, it's, uh, I would try to encourage the sellers to, to have changed this, but still a very nice room. This is the lower level bathroom, bedroom, and the outside also very outstanding. Um, I like that this is really nice how they did this with the barbecue, the table in the middle and the fire pit. It's very sensible, very logical. They have the two lights on each side and around the fire pit, it's built up number one, which I like. Number two, it's got that, that permanent seating around it. And then you still have enough room to put some comfy chairs around it as well. So, uh, d you know, double thumbs up on this backyard um, hangout area there. Yeah, 100% like it. This pool, uh, no one wants this. <laughs> so, well, someone may. Doesn't add value to the home. Anyway, very nice house. Let us check out a property in Fairfield. Uh, Fairfield has got a pretty high price point, but I still think this home is uh, showing very well and is a very attractive option. Also with some really nice outside stuff we're gonna see. So I'm gonna scroll down. This is a ranch, not a raised ranch, built in 1956. Three beds, two and a half baths, uh, just a hair under 2,200 square feet and a 0.4 acre lot, 840,000 asking price. One day people will stop listing homes like we're at a dollar store because all the internet search portals work in even numbers now, folks. Anyway, I'll, I'll get off of that high horse. Let's take a look. It's a nice property and I'm not going to be critical. They did a good job in the listing as well. So this is, this is a nice, nice living room, nice kitchen. It's a good home. The price point seems aligned with the area and the condition of this home. This is this is probably my only. My only, it's an interesting thing because everything else in this house is really, really, not only well kept but up well updated. And then you come here. And they just didn't bother doing this. It's an interesting perspective. And this is just, I don't know what they paid for it, but I love it. This is also a great outdoor space to hang out and enjoy a fire, which I thoroughly like doing. Bar garage. And I appreciate when the um, listings include the floor plans. Thank you so much. Great home, great options. Three great homes, three great options. Hey, reach out. Hit me up, 203-408-1693. Text or call again, 203-408-1693. Call about any of these homes, any other homes you might have seen, any questions you might have, and anything in the world I could do to to help you with your real estate needs. Thank you so much. Jim Alfano, Brook Team, EXP Realty. Have a great day.